Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival for May 12, 2023. Pretty decent new arrival video. Just got back from Austin. Uh, been a little bit under the weather. I was hoping to have a huge amount of stuff to show you guys for the gold membership page. I'm only be able to show you what I got started on. I had to go home today and take a nap. I was pretty whipped. But I'm hoping at this point to have a huge amount of stuff go on the website on Monday. But I'll show you what I got so far. It'll be along this kind of lines, I think. Also on a side note, depending on how I feel, I have a whatnot schedule for this coming up Sunday at noon. That may or may not happen. Uh, if I decide to change it, you know, if you follow the link below, the date of the whatnot will change on the, uh, on the link. So yeah, only one pre-order to tell you guys about this week, and that is uh, the new Dolly Parton Rockstar box set. It's essentially her rock album. Uh, it's kind of a who's who of guest appearances. Check it out, see the features on it. Looks interesting, I'm not a, I'm a Dolly Parton, I like greatest hits is probably enough for me. So I wouldn't really consider myself a, a big fan or anything, but a greatest hits album will suffice. But this looks interesting to where I wanna really give this a listen to, just because of all the guest appearances. The guests on this seem really pretty cool. So let me show you what came in this past week. And at the end of last week, before I uh, left for Austin. I've had a lot of time with this one, and it is quite good. This is the Elvis Mobile Fidelity One Step in Memphis. Uh, really good. I've started comparing this against my other versions of this record. And uh, so far, this is a winner. I've, uh, I've really enjoyed listening to this. Fantastic record. They threw uh, Suspicious Minds on here as the bonus track, so your two big hits are In the Ghetto and Suspicious Minds. But one of his better albums, Elvis's albums, especially by this era, had a lot of filler on them. This album doesn't. This album is solid, fantastic all the way through. But also with that came the new Warren Zevon, Excitable Boy. This actually was quite shocking when I saw this because, well, this one's starting to open, but they actually upgraded the cover. It's actually like a soft touch cover, but not like the soft touch you would get on the old one step boxes that got greasy and destroyed. But it has the same appearance of a soft touch cover. Uh, yeah, it's just a higher quality. You could just tell that they. They beefed up this cover, you know, the it feels more luxurious, I guess is the best way to say it. I listened to it once in the store on passing, so I can't really comment on it. This I've listened to multiple times at the house, so I'm a lot more comfortable commenting on it. You will not be disappointed with the Elvis. There has been a rash of one steps that have been kind of like, eh. I'm a huge Elvis fan, so this for me ticked all the boxes, but also sonically, this is significantly better than a lot of the copies I listen to. But I might do a shootout on that just because I'm such a, such a fan of the album. This is the big one of the week, if you ask me. This is the launch of the OJC series. All analog, cut by Kevin Gray, tip on jackets, uh, press it RTI, all analog mastering. But yeah, look at it. Look at this. Working with a Miles Davis quintet and Awesome dynamite record, originally on Prestige. Really high quality. Uh, I should, uh, if I had a knife, I would open it. I'm gonna crack this open, maybe here live on camera, because this, it appears to have, this has like a glossy cover almost. So unlike a lot of the other titles that they've been doing recently, to where they've been uh, matte finish, you know, the craft record stuff. This appears to have a glossy cover. So this appears more in line with what you would get from like an analog productions title. But let's see if I can, like I said, I went home and took a nap today. So when I came back, this was sitting in here. So I haven't even had a chance to listen to it. So this is gonna be my copy. All right. Craft sleeve. Yeah, th this is awesome. So this is a glossy cover, which is something that they should have. It's not, it's actually nice because it's like the right amount of gloss. It's not an overly glossy cover, if you know what I mean. I don't know if you could see that very well, but this is 
fantastic. This is really along the lines of what you would have got originally. Not an overly glossy cover, but it is a glossy cover. Really nice. So this whole series, the title, they have two Bill Evans titles. There's a couple more that went for pre-order that I actually should have mentioned to you guys this week. But if you click on the very top of the website, I put a little notification bar talking about this series. But uh, this is just going to turn out to be a killer series right up there in line with the Tone Poets. Because not only... Yeah, this is nice. Perfect record. But just because of the quality of titles that you can do with this, all the prestige, Riverside, uh, technically Pablo, there's so many great titles in the craft catalog that they could do. Bill Evans is coming out, uh, Village Vanguard, Waltz for Debbie, working. There's a Yosef Latif title, I think a Mal Waldron title now up for pre order. So there's a lot of really killer titles that they're going to be doing on this OJC series, and it looks like they really did an exceptional job. Okay. The Smashing Pumpkins, Autumn. This is their three album, four album. Yeah, this is a one, two, four album uh, rock opera. This is the independent record store day exclusive version with uh, three unique screen printed inserts. I listened to this 60% of the way through. I'm a huge fan of the Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this a couple more listens to. It's a little all over the place. But it kind of has almost like a, there's parts of this that have almost like a synthy 80s feel. <laughs> but when I think rock opera, I think like Tommy. I'm thinking of like a coherent album that flows within to each other, you know, flows within each other. It's from song to song to song. Uh, yeah, that's not what I heard here. But here it is on uh, Martha's Music. That's their label now. Okay, two. Verve series titles, Verve by request, Archie Shep's Kwanzaa. Some of these have been just absolutely fantastic. Uh, the Alice Coltrane, Pata, the El Duad, it's fantastic. Some of the sound on these, I think some of these are analog. They kind of hinted that some of these were going to be analog, but they said best available sources. So I'm assuming a majority of these things are analog, and the ones where the master tape might be missing. Maybe they just use a high-res file or whatever they have available. This is the one I think that is going to be the most in-demand for the week. Uh, the Dorothy Ashby. The Ryubat of Dorothy Ashby, originally on Cadet. Not an easy record to find and a very expensive record when you do find it. Okay, two new Bethlehem releases. I know, we've got a lot of jazz loaded in the front, but a lot of rock this week, I promise. Art Blakey in the uh, Big Band. Art Blakey, uh, what is the title of this? Art ba Blakey's Big Band. This is a Bethlehem title. They're starting to reissue a lot of the Bethlehem catalog. Featuring John Coltrane and Donald Byrd. Remastered on 180 gram black vinyl. Recorded in New York City, December 1957. And the Duke. Duke Ellington, historically speaking, is the other uh, Bethlehem title for the week. Music on vinyl. Reissue of a Bow Wow Wow. Wow. Bow Wow. Bow Wow. Wow. Bow Wow Wow. Two Wows. I Want Candy. Limited edition 1,000 copies on pink colored vinyl. This is 577. I'm having a... I'm in a little brain fog. I'm not really sure if I showed you guys, but this thing came like weeks late. And that is uh, Starbright, Dizzy Reese, Blue Note Classic Series. Shipping has been a little erratic because of Record Store Day, and it seemed like a couple of weeks before Record Store Day and a couple of weeks after Record Store Day, things were kind of haphazardly coming in. Late, early, I got titles that aren't even scheduled to come out, I think, until June that showed up that I've got a store in the back. So, really bizarre shipping. Hopefully that's dialed in here coming up the next couple of weeks. We're done with the craziness. But all analog, cut by Kevin Gray, you know, Blue Note, classic series. Avenge Sevenfold, Sounding the Seventh Trumpet. This is on Purple Vinyl. Run DMC. This is tougher than leather. 
This is Hip Hop 50. Warren. Dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking rich. This is music on vinyl. Doesn't appear to be a numbered, you know, limited number series. Some more warrant. Dog eat dog. We've got the fifth anniversary. See, there's no need to wait 20, 30, 40, 50 years anymore. We have one year anniversary editions now, Black Pumas. Now we have five year anniversary edition. This is a Golden Hour, Casey Musgraves. This is the five year anniversary Cloud Nine edition. Yeah. Baby Blue Vinyl. Album of the Year and Best Country Album. The Format. Interventions and Lullabies. This is on Cayenne Blue. All right, we're going to get into some squirrely names here, so you punctuation police, I hope you're standing by. You can chastise me in the comments. But, uh, yeah, we're getting into the squirrely stuff for sure. This is uh, the format, Dog Problems. This is on Milky Clear Vinyl. All right, Danzig. Satan's Child. This is on Haze Vinyl. Looks like a black and red. Dropkick Murphys. Akma Rising with the lyrics of Woody Guthrie. This is on standard black vinyl. Asking Alexandria. See what's on the inside. I thought that was a hype sticker there for a minute. No, that's the name of the album. The hype sticker is a couple of album tracks. The Jonas Brothers. I didn't know they were still making music. This is called The Album. Ooh, that sounds good. One of the tracks is Waffle House. I love the uh, waffles with the, the chocolate chips in it. Good times. This is fun. Aim and Ignite. This is never released on vinyl. Includes a bonus track, never released on vinyl. Blue Jay. Pig Face. Gub. This is on blue vinyl. All right, we've got another Warrant title, Music on Vinyl. I think this is the album that a lot of people have been wanting for a while. I do get asked about this quite frequently, and that is uh, Cherry Pie. Mariah Carey, Daydream. Recreated from the original release, remastered at 24-bit high-res audio for vinyl. Featuring Always Be My Baby, Open Arms, and One Sweet Day, and Fantasy. See this on CD like crazy. Not nonstop. Every CD collection from that era has that album. Dead Man's Bones. Actually, I have this album. I listened to it a couple times. When I got it, I'm like, oh, this is really good. Put it on the shelf. I don't know if I've ever listened to it since. But I remember when I listened to it the first time, I really, I dug the album. Actually, Angel really likes the album, too. I think she has it. It's one of her few non-soundtrack albums that she owns. The Butthole Surfers. Weird Revolution on white color vinyl. We've got Pacific Breeze 2, Sunny Seaside Edition, pressed on splatter wax. This is a restock. I showed you guys uh, some of the Small Faces restock, or Small Faces uh, titles that I got in a couple weeks back. I think I got most of them back in stock, but here is uh, Ogden's Nut Gone Flakes. Flake. These are uh, from Charlie, but I think they did the self-titled. There are but four small faces, Autumn Stone, 
I think I got all four of them back in. Aha! Headlines and deadlines, the hits of Aha. So, the hits of Aha. Well, it has to take on me. I guess some of these were minor hits. But it was really the hit of Aha. Great tune, though. Take on me. Fantastic tune. The hit and minor hits of Aha. From my top 100 imprint analog records you should own list, Tom Petty's Wildflowers and the rest. So this is a three disc set with tracks kind of how he originally envisioned the album and it is all analog. This I believe is a restock from Music on Vinyl, Leonard Skinner, it's pronounced Leonard Skinner. Japanese uh, Sony title, I showed you guys some of these last week. This is a restock of Miles Davis's Kind of Blue. These are all done from DSD, but they're pressed at Sony Japan. The quality on these, uh, production-wise, is fantastic. I haven't really listened to many. I listened to the Billy Joel. There's a couple of titles I listened to. I haven't listened to Kind of Blue. If I ever redo my shootout, I probably will, of course, have to add this into, into the shootout. And I actually grabbed a couple. They did a mono and a stereo, and I grabbed both of them for that purpose. But I don't think I ever even got the chance to listen to it. But... The vinyl on this, just like the 80s, the cover, the vinyl, that late 70s, 80s Japanese vinyl, it's, I mean, an exact quality replication of that. I mean, flawless vinyl, beautiful covers, kind of the thing that attracts people to Japanese vinyl. They're doing it like they never skipped a beat. Culture Club, live at Wembley, World Tour 2016. Actually, I think I've seen Culture Club in 2016 with uh, Thompson Twins and the B-52s. I think that was 2016. Finding Fletcher. Oh, we found it. Fletcher. You ruined my New York City for me. No, you, excuse me. You ruined New York City for me. More Fletcher. Oh boy, we're finding Fletcher. We found uh, the uh, sex tapes. The SX tapes. Okay. And Moby. Resound. New York City. This is on Deutsche Grammophon. We've got this, and then we've got a clear, crystal clear vinyl version. All right. The Mercury Living Presence titles are starting to come back. The Half Speed Master titles. We've got Dorati. This is, I'm just checking out the series. First time having one in my hand. Made in the EU. But they're starting to put a lot of these Mercury Living Presence back into print. Fantastically well recorded. Uh, when it comes to classical music in the United States on vinyl, ooh, I forgot the best one. Let me run over here and grab it. When it comes to music, classical vinyl in the United States, it's RCA Living Stereo and the Mercury Living Presence. This is about a thousand dollar record if you can find an original. I highly recommend this on vinyl. It is not only fun to listen to, but unbelievably dynamic well recorded this will stretch your stereo out they even put a note on here a note about listening levels mercury living presence recordings are highly dynamic pushing the technical capabilities of the original recording equipment to the limit and that is the truth these are wildly dynamic fun to listen to this was originally on the uh, taz list very desirable hard to find uh, i haven't listened to this version I feel like this is a recording that would be extremely hard to screw up. It is so well recorded and so dynamic. If you're gonna try one of these Mercury Living Presence records, go with Hi-Fi a la Espanol. But I don't have any experience with any of these. I have Classic Records did this. Obviously it came out originally. This has been done by audiophile labels in the past. The Classic Records did it in multiple versions. They did single-sided, 33. And uh, let's see. 
Marcel Dupree. This is, uh, yeah, they actually put this full dynamic range listening level sticker on all of them. That's a good sign. If you're going to buy a dynamic record, that's a good, uh, a good sign. I'm pretty sure I showed these already. These are the new uh, EMC titles. Kenny Wheeler, Jack DeJanet. I showed those last week, but they're like still coming in. All right, Great Women of Song. Nina Simone. So this is like a Verve Greatest Hits, kind of. It looks like a, a comp, a Nina Simone comp. Oh, and we got the Jano Starker box suites for solo cello. Another uh, Mercury Living Presence title. Okay, that's it for the new arrivals. Let me show you guys a little bit about, a little bit of uh, gold member stuff. Gold member, talked about a lot of times. Uh, you get 10% off all in-stock vinyl on the website, and you get access to a members-only pre-owned section, although a lot of the titles, like you see here, these are pre-owned technically. Most of these are still sealed. I'm hoping to have a significant amount of stuff up this Monday. They all go live on the website Monday at 11 o'clock Arizona time. So, yeah, a lot of these are pickups from Austin. I bought about 50 sealed fantasy top 100 analog productions titles while i was there count basie kansas city this is a pablo these are all 45 sealed 45 rpm of chet baker stereo these are actually uh the number i mean early first pressings numbered count basie meets oscar peterson the timekeepers ben webster at the Renaissance, all seal. I got a chunk of Music Matters, 45 RPM titles that are gonna go on that are sealed. Lee Morgan's Tomcat, again, sealed Music Matters. 45 RPM, Camp Verdean Blues, Horace Silver. Awesome record. Art Blakey's Free For All, 45 RPM, Music Matters. Number 40, actually, these are numbered. And Donald Bird's The Catwalk. This is number 741. So early all numbered editions. I had about 50 records I wanted to be able to have included on this video to show you guys. But like I said, came back with something from Austin. But uh, yeah, check us out on the interwebs at theingroup.com. Until next time.